What's up? How's it going? So I was just going to have a little Dama sesh in my room here. And I mentioned in a recent video that I just got this Sweets Donut mod, which importantly is coated in their Cushion Clear paint, which is not a paint that I've ever played before, but is obviously hyped up and talked about a lot as one of the stickiest, tackiest paints. And I've only done a couple of tricks on this and I wanted to record this video because first impression wise, it's so sticky like ridiculously sticky and tacky. And I know it's probably gonna break in, but for those people like me, I mean, I used to look like for videos like, oh, switch cushion, switch cushion clear, what's it like? And it was kind of hard to find videos, so I wanted to make my own video of my first impressions, and then I can kind of look back on it later, you know, maybe this will break in a lot and it won't be that tacky anymore. But uh, e either way, I just want to, you know, kind of tell you what is cushion clear really like, especially right out of the box. So. I'm going to do a couple of tricks. I'm going to cut to, you know, me doing that and kind of talk through like how it feels because it behaves very differently than expected. You think sticky would just make everything better. Oh, sticky must be good. But even something like a lighthouse, it makes kind of difficult and I'll show you why. So let's do that. All right. So in the wise words of Daniel Cook, here we are. Now, keep in mind, I'm not very good at Kendama, I'm not very good at Lunars, but I'm gonna try to show you as best I can how sticky this paint really is. So let's start with a Lunar, and maybe we'll hit a Lunar flip because it's that sticky. <laughs> so we'd miss the spike there, but you can see the Lunar came up and, oh geez. The Lunar came up, watch again if you need to, it's stuck with literally no wiggle, it just sticks. It doesn't fall into place or anything, it just sticks. Even after the Lunar flip, which is a really tough trick to hit with something like a sticky paint, which I'll kind of compare to in a second. It just, there's no other word to describe it, it just sticks. And obviously it makes tricks like these so much easier. Stick. Here's kind of the classic sound test. You know, people like to do that to hear, and you can just hear, like I said, how, you know, how sticky the wood is on the paint. I don't know the word to describe grippy, sticky, tacky, but the wood does not want to move across the paint, and that's what's giving it that incredible stick and tack. Now, so you think, oh, super sticky, that's always gonna be a really good thing for all these tricks. But think again, because I tried to do a couple lighthouses, just again, testing the paint, and it, I found that the super, super stickiness actually made the lighthouses way more difficult. So I'm gonna to try to show you what a lighthouse looks like on this Dama, and then I'm gonna grab my Sweets Sticky Paint uh, Zach Mod, and I'll show you it just lands so much easier with just the regular sticky paint compared to this super duper sticky Cushion Clear. So let's go for a lighthouse on this, and I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to hit one because the paint is so sticky that the lighthouse just falls off, if that makes sense. I'll try to make it make sense. Okay, so you see in a case like that, even when the lighthouse almost lands perfectly, the any little movement, it's just gonna cause the, the, the what's this thing called? The Ken to just topple over. And I, I don't know the best way to describe this. I'll try to hit a couple more and zoom in on it so you can see what I mean. It just isn't able to find its resting place because it can't wiggle into its place because it can't wiggle at all because it's so sticky. I'm gonna show you on the sticky paint how to hit a lighthouse and then it might make a little bit more sense. So here's a well broken in Zach mod on sticky paint which still has some stick but nothing compared to the cushion clear and I'm gonna hit a lighthouse on this and we're gonna see if we can see the difference. Okay, so if there's one difference is that you can feel the can fall into place. Now, I can kind of show you what I mean by that. If the can is like, you know, bopping around trying to land in that lighthouse position, if it's like kind of on an edge with the sticky paint, it can just, you know, fall into place. But with the cushion clear, it's so sticky that it can't slide like that to fall into place and it just tips around and wiggles off. You'll know what I mean if you feel it but obviously you can't feel it if you're watching this to learn about how it feels. So just keep in mind, it's there's no play, it's just sticky. 
that's pretty much as far as I wanted to go in terms of first impressions. Now, obviously, I'm sure this paint's gonna break in. I'm sure there's gonna be a little bit of give in the future as I break it in, but I wanted to get this first impressions out because for people that have never tried Cushion Clear before, like myself a week ago, I think it's really interesting to understand how something being, you know, what you think is gonna be good, super sticky, actually can you know, kind of hinder some tricks. And again, we'll see in the future. We'll compare Broken and Cushion Clear to this video one day, and maybe it'll be, you know, just perfect, just the right amount of stick. But as of now, those are my thoughts. I definitely hope this was interesting for somebody who wonders what Cushion Clear on a Sweet Stama is like. That's my first impressions, and uh, we'll see where it goes from here. Thanks for checking this out. I'll see you in the next one.